Hello Laddingtons. Admire the aesthetic background. Absolutely comfy. It's raining here in this um, November forest, but um, I like it. It's a nice fresh walk in nature. Um, an enlightening wisdom walk to talk about the gaming question. Now first and foremost, will I or will I not play the new Assassin's Creed game featuring Vikings? I will actually not, even though I'm a great fan of the Assassin's Creed series. And uh, the primary reason is I don't really feel like I have the time to play it at the moment and I'm not excited enough to, um, to take the time. But uh, I will say though that I've had a very hectic autumn, as you all know, so I will schedule in some downtime soon, maybe sometime in December for, um, for Christmas or something. But then I will actually play the best game ever, which is Warhammer Total War 2. And uh, I'm waiting for the Wood Elf DLC. But I don't really feel like starting a new game or anything, even though I need downtime to keep... Um, to be productive. Uh, I've talked about this before, I'll talk about it again. It's the same thing. Sleep uh, or deloads week, deload weeks in the gym, you need to have downtime, you need to have down you need to have time where you do not constantly focus on whatever it is you're doing. So sometimes you have to force yourself, you have to force yourself to take a deload week in the gym if you train hard, or if you are some sort of entrepreneur, you have to have downtime as well so you can be even more productive later on. So that's my position currently with the gaming situation. I don't want to play Assassin's Creed enough to actually take the time, but I have looked forward to playing more um, Total War Warhammer, so I will do that later on. I might make a, a look at video when a new DLC comes out, but that's just my personal take on it right now. Maybe if you are in a different situation, you can definitely play the new Assassin's Creed game. I just hope they don't make a mockery out of um, Viking culture and make it completely cucked. I don't know. Assassin's Creed is a bit... can be a bit problematic in that sense. I um, would say that Assassin's Creed Odyssey was a bit too much. Was a bit too much sex, etc. And I'm not saying this because I'm a prude, because I'm not. You know, I talk a lot about pornography, but that is hardcore pornography. If you have some erotic elements in a in a film or a game, I don't really mind, but when it gets, but when it gets too much uh, in your face all the time, um, yeah, it, uh, it's not so good. But anyway, that's the answer to, um, to the first question. So moving on to the gaming question at hand. I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. I want to have a video named the gaming question in case someone searches on the channel. Also, of course, I write about this in Dauntless. If you haven't already read Dauntless, you have... Oh, I don't know where to begin. You have committed a terrible sacrilege. You need to redeem yourself. First link in the description box below. Also have a lot of epic new releases on Legio Gloria, so have a look there as well. Anyway, a lot of guys, when they hear gaming, they think about a fat guy or a skinny guy or a skinny fat guy sitting in front of the computer, wasting his life away. You know, skipping the gym, skipping school, uh, not really having any ambition, not any ambition to meet a woman, not any ambition for anything. Just want to play all the time. Now, of course, that is problematic, but I would like to bring some nuance to the discussion. For me, on a personal note, I am supremely thankful for having grown up with Age of Empires, Age of Mythology, Rome Total War, and then in later years, you know, Oblivion, Skyrim, The Witcher 3, etc. Uh, super thankful for having that instilled in me in an early age. And it's the same thing with such a thing as Nordic mythology or Greek mythology or Roman history or Swedish history or English history or epic stories such as Lord of the Rings. I've talked about this before. 
I'll say it again because it is important. It is important to have those sort of positive and inspiring feels that you have with you from uh, from an early age. So if someone had magically removed my experiences with gaming since I was younger, I would have felt a keen loss. So I'm very thankful for having had those encounters with gaming or rather a certain type of been exposed to a sensation rather. So that is my own personal perspective. Now related to this, when I was around 14 years of age there were a lot of guys, a lot of friends I had who played World of Warcraft. I never played it for the reason that I knew I probably would get addicted to it. So even at a young age, quite, pr quite proud of myself in retrospect when I say that I didn't play it for that simple reason because I didn't want to be addicted to play it all the time. And I probably would have become addicted because, you know, most guys, they played it. They, um, yeah, spent a lot of time in it. And, you know, when you are younger, you of course have a lot more time. It's worse if you are in your 20s and uh, you skip the gym and um, and stuff because you, you game. But if you have everything in order, it's something different. So anyway, that was just my my backstory about gaming, my own relationship with gaming. Then of course you have different sort of games as well. If you have a game such as The Witcher 3, you play through it once, maybe wait a few years, play through it again. Yeah, that's not a lot of time. However, if you have a game such as Counter-Strike or Call of Duty or Dota 2, where you know you have matches that are continuous, you there isn't really any end. That is of course much more dangerous because that's more of a time sink. So distinguish between games where you have a start and a finish. Same thing with Total War, you know, you start a campaign, then you finish it. Yeah, you might replay a campaign later on as well. Uh, but it doesn't take as much time and it isn't as addicting as something like Dota, for example. So distinguish between games. Not all games are equal. That's something, an important thing in life to keep in mind. So anyway, should you game? Can you incorporate gaming in an otherwise good lifestyle? It depends. Do you keep up with training? If you are in school, do you keep up with your schoolwork? If you are in um, already working, are you working? Are you keeping up with your duties towards your company, etc.? Yeah, good. Are you taking care of family life? Or if you're a younger guy, do you also, you know, try to maybe find a woman? Okay, can you combine it? It's good. But if you know yourself that gaming decreases your performance in other areas of life, then it might be a good idea to, to not game too much. Something else that is supremely important. Do not confuse your achievements in game with actual real world achievements. Because they're not. Don't trick your brain into feeling a sense of accomplishment. You can do it, of course, temporarily in the game. And I understand it's uh, one of the one of the charms of gaming that you get that kick of um, yeah, you know, you, you you have leveled or something. But don't let that reward in your brain substitute the reward of getting your bench press up in the gym or uh, getting done with schoolwork or, or something like that. Now, last point. When you game, when you play Skyrim, do you feel like you're escaping into an alternative reality because you are in a bad position yourself in your own life? Or can you draw motivation from the game? That is the most important question. Of course, if you use gaming as motivation, not escapism, I've actually made a very old video on this, but it bears repeating because it's extremely important. Do you use it as motivation? Do you play Skyrim as a big Nord warrior? Do you want to go to the gym to emulate the aesthetics? Do you play the Witcher and see him being jacked? 
Do you want to emulate his aesthetics, also being jacked, powerful, physically capable? That is good. But if you are a, a weak nerd, a weak skinny fat nerd who, you know, you escape into that reality, you escape into a reality where we are powerful, yeah, that's not good. It's not good in the least. So be mindful. Do you use it as escapism in the sense that you are in a bad position in your own life? Then it's not good. But if you're actively trying to emulate the ideals seen in the game, that is very good indeed. So anyway, I hope that made sense and was um, inspiring and informative for you to, to watch this video. So, thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.